Okay. Uh, today, we would like to talk about driving sustainability transformation through open land deployment. Let's start. Okay, this is today's outline. Chapter one is explain about Fujitsu uh, technology and service vision. Uh, chapter two, uh, expectation and use case for 5G and beyond 5G networks. Chapter three is key factors uh, for network transformation. Chapter four, uh, network transformation practices in Fujitsu. Uh, now, uh, we face a global environmental, social, and economic crisis. Climate change poses an ex uh, existential threat uh, both to humanity and many other species. Global warming uh, has continued over the past uh, 10 years, causing glacial retreat, destruction of coral reefs, and extreme weather conditions. This has impacted biodiversity, with more than 1 million species now endangered. In addition, we face significant social challenges, such as poverty, human rights violations, and limited access to healthcare and education, and an aging population. Moreover, we are faced with unprecedented uncertainty, uh, brought about by the pandemic and geopolitical issues. What action uh, should we take to overcome these critical challenges? As you see, environmental, social, and economic sustainability is now a global imperative. Digital technology has the exciting potential to enable the innovation required to address our most complex and difficult challenges. The headline theme uh, for the next 10 years is to drive sustainability transformation through digital innovation. Sustainability in transformation means transforming business to bring about positive challenge, positive change in our environment, social and economies. We are focused on enabling organization to transform business by delivering digital innovation that create business resilience against uncertainty while enhancing environmental and social value. Innovation by technology is key to solving our most pressing environmental, social and economic challenges to our sustainable future. Especially, and the three key elements I introduced just now, human-centric, data-driven, and connected, and become important to create a more sustainable, sustainable world. Let me introduce the four future visions that will drive the next 10 years based on these three elements. The following are four uh, technology visions, uh, borderless world, uh, physical and digital experiences, and will converge to realize human-centric ex experiences, empowering people to live for our lives. Dynamic resilience, uncertain future scenarios uh, will be dig uh, digitally rehearsed to build resilience across business and society. Trust in everything, distributed trust will connect people, things and service safely and securely, supporting a more regenerative society, Finally, discovery revolution. Innovation will be accelerated by using data to combine the uh, creativity of people and technology. Today, uh, we will introduce a borderless world under the theme of network. How does borderless world look like? How can we ensure that everyone can live uh, with dignity? How can technology help us achieve this? Over the next 10 years, we envision a future where a physical and digital experiences will become increasingly much to empower people, both at home and in their working lives. From now on, let me share our view on how borderless world will evolve, how technology realizes a borderless world and what kind of business and social impact will emerge.
Until recently, the internet has transforming uh, how people and organizations share information and communicate. For the last 10 years, the internet has evolved in two pathways. One pathway is to enable us to enjoy better digital experiences such as metaverse and cross reality. The other uh, pathway is to enable us to use IoT sensor data to monitor and control the physical, physical world. This is an evolution of digital twin. Over the next 10 years, these two parallel evolutions will converge. In borderless world, governance regulations and rules will be needed to integrate the physical and uh, digital world effectively. Intelligent networks will ultra, which ultra fast uh, with low latency are uh, the foundation of the borderless world. This supports the ecosystem that connect people and services, enabling human-centric experiences. Fujitsu is building the networks of the future from 5G and 6G wireless networks to optical backbone networks. We introduce a completely new cloud native 5G base station based on open LAN standard. Autonomous optimization uh, and resilience networks be, will be enabled by applying our quantum inspired AI and security uh, integration. To reduce energy consumption uh, significantly, Fujitsu is collaborating and with a partner to develop photonics ele electronics converge technology. People will be uh, empowered in borderless world, for example, is the future work. It is difficult for workers at factories and construction sites to work remotely. Physical and digital convergence will enable engineering work and on-site operation to be conducted, conducted remotely. For example, Fujitsu is helping remote operations of construction equipment using private 5G. Consumer experience. New empowering experiences can be realized from physical and digital convergence. We can already explore a different type of metaverse that exactly reproduces a real time, uh, real time as a digital thing, enabling us to enjoy shopping, tourism, and various events. Now is the time to explore the exciting poss possibilities. About living with dignity. There are constraints in daily lives and jobs for elderly and people with physical disabilities. Yet, in a borderless world, anyone can realize their potential, see the potential world, physical world by remote robotics or partial advanced education. To enable everyone to live with dignity, we need to explore a new way to use technology. Okay, next, we will introduce the expectation for future networks and use case. About the expectation for 5G and beyond 5G networks, Internet of Things accelerate new value creation and through cyber mapping with digital twin. The type and volume of field data and the complexity of the structure will have explored it. For application and content, the ICT infrastructure uh, that is rich in speed, low latency, high capacity, and flexibility is essential. Therefore, we believe that cellular wireless networks will become mainstream in place of fixed and uneconomical wired networks and unstable and ungranted run networks. Technological innovation in the 5G and beyond 5G network is expected to solve these issues. Here are four examples of how 5G networks uh, can be used. First, 
I will explain the outline of demonstration using ROCA 5G in railway maintenance. There are two contents. The first is automation of railway line maintenance monitoring. In the past, way, in the, in the, past, the inspection operator had to work uh, once a week to inspect the railway line. But in this demonstration, a high definition camera was installed in the driver's seat of the train. And when the train arrived at the station, the image was automatically transmitted via local 5G installed on the station platform and sent to an AI server for timely inspection. The other is automating the decision to open and close the train's door on the station platform. Currently, the conductor looks at a fixed camera to decide whether to open or close the train's door. But the video monitor is difficult to see and the additional station staff is being needed. For solving, it is transmitted to an AI server using a high definition camera and the AI determines when to close the door in a situation where many people are on board. The result and the surrounding image of the door are transmitted to the tablet in the driver's seat on local 5G in a timely manner. And the driver operates to open and close that door. Next, I will explain the outline of smart safety and that enable detection of colorless, transparent, and odorless gas leaks. There are three contents. The first is patrol monitoring of gas facility by unmounting a robot equipped with 4K camera, inflamed camera, near inflamed type metal detector, and edge computer server for AI. The second is accumulating raw data during operation uh, to make big data. The third is exceeded the limits of human's detection. Next, I will explain the outline uh, or verification of utilization of local 5G in remote coaching of parasports. I will show you the introduction video, but since it is only in Japanese, I will supplement in it accordingly. This video is a proof of concept that solves the parasport coaching problem with local 5G. About the shortage of parasport leaders, face-to-face -face coaching has various challenges, such as mobility, cost, time, and COVID-19. Fujitsu has built a remote coaching system using local 5G to solve these issues. We demonstrated that coaching can be performed from a remote location by sharing 4K camera uh, image without delay. Remote coaching using video requires not only large capacity communication, but also reduction of delay. Delay can occur at the radio layer, the IP layer, or the application layer. The difficulty is that different application requirements have different optimization points. In combination with VR technology and an attitude estimation system, more accurate coaching was realized. By controlling the camera remotely and shooting from multiple uh, directions, it is possible to track athletes from multiple pers uh, perspectives. 
センサーが読み取った体の状態や動きをバーチャル空間内で再現し遠隔地からの指導を可能にします姿勢推定システムプレイ中の選手の姿勢を撮影分析しリモートコーチングに活用より高度な指導を実現します離れたところからの指導っていうのは。The following comments were made after experiencing the verification. The remote coaching was almost equal to face to face. And by simulating a training with a large number of people virtually, It can solve the limitation of training due to a lack of people. Remote coaching の狙いは、コーチがどこでもできるっていう環境を整えないと意味がないと思います。今から大事なのは来年、やっぱそれをどんどん、えー、東京とか、最後はドイツとかも。できれば一番いいんじゃないかなと思ってます。富士通は 5G などのテクノロジーを活用し、Even in place where they are only beginners, you can receive advanced coaching and contribute to the development of Parasport. 富士通 aim to create a sustainable society in which no one is left behind. Okay. At the end of this chapter, we introduce remote control and solution for construction vehicles with Forest Research Institute in the Sweden. The construction vehicle is equipped with multiple cameras, sensors, and controls that allow operators to remotely control the vehicle over a 5G network. Delay is much smaller than Wi Fi and can be controlled over long distances. I will show you the introduction video. Okay, next I would like to talk about the direction of our technology. The following issues should be addressed in relation to 5G network. First, dealing with increasing operational complexity. And the second, the provide a fast, flexible, and available service uh, foundation. Third, the installation of many radio equipment with required and the power consumption increases. So lower, con low, lower power consumption for 5G and beyond 5G network uh, will be needed. The key technologies to solve these uh, problems are as follows. Open networks, intelligence orchestration, and green technologies will contribute to these issues. The interface and internal configuration must be open And available for anyone to use a disaggregated network functionality. 
intelligent orchestration is needed to reconfigure uh, capabilities to meet requirements and create a network, this, uh, network that is safe, secure, and easy to operate. Finally, it is important to provide a performance and quality in a compact and low power environment friendly network. This slide introduces uh, software based station. The CU and DU of conventional mobile systems used to be a uh, dedicated device and that integrate uh, hardware and software. But the development of base station has changed significantly due to advance in IT technology uh, centered on software. By opening the CU and DU interface and configuring uh, the digital processing part with software, a uh, flexible network can be built. The key here is to decouple hardware and software and be able to take advantage of hardware's technology evolution in a flexible way so that software can, be, can use uh, cloud resources flexibly. In the past, manual operation management by human uh, was the main focus. In addition, the network uh, was uh, divided by vendor and service expansion was difficult. The open monitoring and control interface for each device and future facilities operational management between different vendor uh, and layers. In addition, by monitoring the resource status of devices and the network conditions uh, with service effects, and by performing uh, AI analysis, you can achieve operational automation, such as making configuration ch changes in real time. We are developing RU that realize high speed, large capacity transmission in a small size and low power consumption by utilizing frequency uh, in the millimeter wave and terahertz range that are higher than 5G frequencies. As IoT advances, the center of communication will evolve, to, uh, evolve into machine-to-machine -machine, uh, or AI-to-machine communication. We are working on low power devices that can be applied to such terminals. I believe that the definition of open LAN has evolved to encompass not only open, but also cloud native with a separate of hardware and software and new tech, uh, technological innovations with the fusion of IT and CT. In addition to improve user experiences, 5G networks are also expected to play a role as an infrastructure for promoting um, collaboration with other industries, digital innovation, uh, regional revitalization, and solving labor shortage. The requires flexible inclusion of different vendor solutions for new use cases. Open activities uh, will not only reduce cost, but will also promote innovate, innovation uh, through the participation of many suppliers. They will also enable customization to flexi flexibility and quickly combine components to meet the diverse needs of users. And will revolutionize the market delivery model.
Next, I would like to talk about Fujitsu's network transformation practices. First, we will introduce our effort to promote open LAN. Multi vendor interoperability uh, is key to open LAN vendor uh, di diversification. At the mobile integration and testing center called MITC, MNOs and vendors each provide value and support system operations. MNOs can be evaluated in a uniform procedure and environment. For vendor, a comprehensive end-to-end -end test can be, uh, can be evaluated. This is MITC in Dallas, at Texas. Enables interoperability checks between open LAN profiles and VLAN operations, support efficient validation and open LAN. To quickly verify intervenability between different vendors' equipment, it is necessary to establish a verification process, develop tools that can be used in common, and to develop a verification environment. Fujitsu is developing technologies and process to verify the interoperability of various uh, vendors' equipment for open LAN front hall. Test system that can perform standard tests in accordance with open LAN specification and to implement an end-to-end -to -end test system and that can verify the connection from the core network to the terminal. Evaluate and verify the connectivity between base station equipment where the maximum throughput can be achieved and where the required throughput uh, can be achieved even when multiple user devices are connected. Okay, next, let's see at the uh, 5G VLAN all-in-one edge solution. The virtualized CU and virtualized DU is built by various vendors and combined uh, with Edge AI to provide a solution on a single server. This solution uses NVIDIA GPUs in the virtual base station to provide fast processing, high capacity, and low latency. It also takes full advantage of GPUs and handles 5G communication processing and edge AI processing in parallel. In the past, hardware were arranged to process uh, each fusion. With a solution, uh, each functional hardware can be consolidated into a single server uh, while maintaining uh, processing performance. In addition, AI and application functions that have traditionally been on the cloud side can be placed closer to the end user, making it possible to provide ultra low latency edge service to the end user. For example, automation in factories, human flow analysis in public places, automation of purchase information in management in malls, real-time distribution of high-definition video as an enterprise, and gaming and that requires real-time esports. In summary, there are three characteristics, add-on all in one uh, to edge site, and small start when a delivery uh, enterprise service at high speed and low latency.
This is a demo configuration of the all-in-one edge solution. Using 5G communication, AI processing is performed uh, on the image taken by camera. And the image com uh, combining real and virtual can be seen in real time on the terminal. Step one, data shot with the camera is transformed by 5G. Step two, process into skeleton data by AI. Step three, generate cross reality data. Step four, show digital twin cross reality vision. Let's see the vision by video. Okay, next, let's see at the overview of CO2 emissions reduction in system, including 5G virtualized base station. The AI and digital annealer operations management functions can optimize 5G virtualized base stations and wireless devices. As a result, we believe that CO2 emission total system to be reduced by 50% compared to conventional base station systems. To be realized, there are technology, automat uh, automatic cellular replining and dynamic resource allocation. Traditionally, the combination of wireless device and virtualized base station is fixed. As a result, the power consumption of each base station server varies greatly due to changes and bias in the flow of users. In the situation, it was possible to optimize the individual uh, facilities, but it was not possible to optimize the variation among facilities, which pose a problem. To solve this problem, Fujitsu focus on the compute, uh, computational performance of digital annealers combination problem and quickly and derived uh, the op optimal combination of wireless devices and virtualized base stations for the entire region. The digital annealer that quantum inspired computing solution is designed to solve large scale combinational optimization problems, which are not able to solve using today's classical computers. Detail is digital annealer inputs and uh, fast facility usage, a future usage forecast, and wireless devices agencies to determine the optimal combination of connectivity uh, configurations. In addition, dynamic resource allocation using scheduler technology and flexible front hall configuration. Flexibility change server computing resources required for operation according to the usage condition of base station that change depending on the region and time zone. As a result, peak power consumption can be significantly suppressed, contributing to a significant reduction in power consumption. Okay, finally, Fujitsu technology and service vision is describing the future we want to create together with our customers and partners. The ways uh, that technology can empower people to drive this vision. And the action we need to take now. FT and SV is also providing an important compass for Fujitsu Future's direction to Fujitsu employees. We are updating everywhere, every year to reflect the impact of emerged technologies and social and economic trends. The FT and SV for 2023 was announced recently. If you are interested, please refer to it. Enable finally, enable deployment of true open uh, land globally and contribute to a sustainable society uh, through technologies leadership. 